Okay, so happy new year to this channel. I think I'm posting this on my vlog channel. Um, I, I'm doing like vlogs if they're just me on my main channel and if they're like a family, like if they're family like content, then I'll post it on the channel, I don't know. But anyways, happy new year. Um, so yeah, normally I would just, like go through Starbucks, have a sit, like film a little like coffee chat or whatever, but um, I don't have time for that today because it's not really like a busy day, but it is kind of a busy day. Um, we are doing this interview for with this Israeli TV um, production company, which is like really exciting. So I wanted to go get coffee, one, to get my energy up, two, for them. I was like, we should get them coffee or something when they're here. I can't wait for the day that Malibu can have like a little baby Starbucks, like the whipped cream ones. I think they're called puppuccinos, but I think like eventually babies can have them as like a treat maybe one day. I don't know, but that is on today. Um, And then I also heard they had like the year of the rabbit cups. I don't want to be that annoying person that goes to the drive to like shopping, but yeah. But maybe this will be like a day in my life because um, I have makeup on today and I washed my hair and I have a really cute outfit. This is from Free People. It was like so expensive though. Like, you know, some of these Free People is like $80 for a t-shirt. It's expensive, but this is like literally like $400 for this dress, but it's actually so cute. I'll show you like a fit check. It's actually like really cute. It's like stretchy at the waist, but it comes in like, it's just really cute. And it's really low cut. Like I almost wore this like without a bra and I was just like, oh no. Oh no, mom Trish can never. But this week has been so busy. I did a collaboration with someone I tr so love. Like I met them for the first time this week and we did a collaboration. It was like so good. It's gonna come out next Friday. I did a podcast yesterday with some of my favorite females. So I'm really excited. I'm trying to like get back testing my feet into like the podcast world because like I do have a podcast coming out soon um, with a co-host that I'm like really excited about. And I really just want to like make sure that I like remember how to talk and remember how to do the whole podcast thing. And so far every podcast I've done, I've done the Zach Sang show and the one I did yesterday has been really easy, really just like natural. And it's like so great that I have like something to talk about other than like drama. Like, you know, it's like my life now is so different. It's just like me as a mom, you know, I talked a lot about like pregnancy and birth labor and delivery and it's just like so nice to like talk you know talk openly about it all like and it's like something that I'm really passionate about so it's been really good all right I'm gonna get four drinks this time hi how's it going good how are you good um can I get uh a large mocha with just two pumps mocha yeah you got it and can I also get a large iced chai tea latte yeah you got it and then can i also get two medium just like regular lattes just hot mm -hmm. and um do you have any of the year of the rabbit stuff yet the what the like year of the rabbit cups oh, um my supervisor said we didn't get um that yet okay no worries that's okay that's good then she's not sure if we will but yeah oh okay thanks okay, <laughs> no worries thanks. That was that. Maybe they're at Target. I guess I remember seeing them. Anyway, someone, I was doing a TikTok Live. I should have been filming today. But I was doing a TikTok Live this morning doing makeup because I haven't done like a TikTok Live in so long. This makeup's kind of cute. I'm kind of like doing this Alex Earl Live lately. Um, she's like literally like so pretty. She's like the F girl of TikTok right now. But um, yeah, so I'm going to get these drinks and go home because they're going to be there in like a few minutes. They might already be there. We are going through. We are going through. Yeah, I thought today would be like, I had a phone call this morning and I've been like getting up really early every morning and like going to bed late because I've been out late. Um, cause the collab I filmed was like till one in the morning and then I had to get up yesterday at like 6 a.m. for glam. And then today I had to get up cause I had to like wash my hair and stuff like that. So it's been like really like a lot of like late night, early morning. So it's been a little nuts, but um, yeah. Today is gonna like, like I said, after this little like interview thing, I feel like it's gonna be kind of a relaxed day. Like I'm still gonna film today cause like I love to film when I have like my makeup on. Um, but yeah, I kind of want to run some errands, just like cute little errands to like Target and stuff. Cause they're like Valentine's Day, which is pretty cool. So, and let's pray that I don't spill this coffee on my new white $400 free people dress. This is like so cute though. And the sleeves are like billowy. Like they're like, they cut like it's really really cute i'm really here for this whole this whole line that's for a cup holder anyways how are you guys doing i hope 
hope you're doing well. It's my turn, yay! sip this coffee on the way home because I need a little bit of energy. I need a little pep in my step. That yellow cup is super cute. They have a yellow and a teal cup. Adorable. I don't know if the year of the rabbit, maybe at the Target Starbucks. That's going to give me a good excuse to go to Target for... Hi! How are you? Hi. Good, how are you? Okay. Yes. So oh, thank you so much! That's I just washed it. She's good. Um, <laughs> She's at home. I wish I could name my kids <laughs> I still can. My totally. Daughter, she can change her name. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Just a little like name. <laughs> That'd be funny. Do you want to trade for other drinks? Yes, please. Thank you. Good vibes today in the drive through. I love when there's good vibes, good energy. Today's gonna be such a good day. I feel like I look really pretty today. Do you ever look at yourself some days and be like, wow, I look really pretty? I feel like today I look really pretty. And I didn't put really hardly any effort into my makeup. It literally took me 20 minutes. So I think it was the fresh hair wash that's making me feel really good about myself today. I should probably wash my hair more often. I think that's a good rule of, of thumb. Thumb. A good rule of thumb. Starbucks is so fun. Oh my God, Starbucks is so fun. Na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. <laughs> I'm so excited for this coffee. I love, well actually I'm getting coffee. I could ice try tea last time. It sounds like a coffee because it says latte. What is it, just milk and tea? Is that what makes it a latte too? Because I know latte means milk and something. I don't know. <sighs> I'm excited for today. I'm so excited for this like Israeli like TV show. We're gonna be Israel TV stars, which would be so cool. Then we go to Israel to promote it. <laughs> That'd be so much fun. Thank you so much. Do you want a straw for that one? Um, yes, please. Okay. Thanks. Is she with you? Is no, she's at home. We oh, live yeah, right up the street. Yeah. Oh, we'll I know. All Thank right. you Take so care. much. Have a you too. <laughs> You're so funny. I should bring her. There she is. Oh, it's the car seat in the back. Yeah, the Range Rover like never has the car seat because we take the car seat up with us. Like we always just carry her from the car seat. And when I say we, Moses, he's like so good. Okay, I'm really excited for this. Oh, hold on, let me pull over real quick so I'm not doing this while driving. Um, I'll get mine out because I have a couple sips of this and I'm like good for the whole day. Like on some reel. Well. It's good, kind of cinnamony. So delicious. Okay. We're gonna head home and get the filming going. I my house slippers. They're so comfy and cute. They're Louis Vuitton. We had to go with our carpet. And yeah, our room is pretty clean right now. Super exciting. This is the fit. This is the full fit. Do you like? Thank you. And then our headboard matches our new couches we got. We got these a couple weeks ago. Designed by Moses, my hubby. So yeah, we have some pictures we gotta hang up and stuff, but pretty much our room is nice and clean. And the filming crew just got here from downstairs. <laughs> ASMR skin, you guys know I have to do my little promo. Get at ASMRskin.com. Get glowing skin. Also, this box behind me is where I was filming my skin. Ignore that. <laughs> we closed this door for filming, but it's going really good. Moses is talking to them now. He's speaking Hebrew, which is so hot. But yeah, is my skin. Yeah, I love this like window because it has like really nice light. So I was like filming the products here, and I was like here, so you just get like that really good light. But yeah, 
I mean, my skin is looking good. I don't care what anyone says. Like, these products work. I think people get so mad because, like, it's actually a good product. And it actually works so well. And, like, literally, this will be a multi-million dollar company. There's no doubt in my mind. So, um, keep getting mad. And then today, I'm like, oh, I'm doing an Israeli TV show. I'm sure, like, haters will be like, at Israel, don't let this person in your country. <laughs> Just crazy. I like, they get so angry. Don't be angry. Put on a fun dress and just spin around. Life is short. Life is fun. You are blessed. Even the haters, you are blessed. Live your best life. Live your blessed life. <gasps> also, here's a bunch of other random products that I use all the time. The Crest Whitening, toothpaste. Um, I have to get this back. This is Shivers Bracelet. Um, got the Dove Spray. Love it. I didn't realize this was the teens one. I just saw Mango and got it, but I love these. They're so good. This is what I dried my hair with this morning. Really good product to detangle. And I always use this after the shower. This stuff is cheap and it works really well. Look how pretty our room is. Yes, we have stairs inside of our bathroom. And that's why I love it. It's so extra. Oh, it's okay. oh, these steps are so fun. Oh, it's just so bright. I love a bright white room. We're getting wallpaper there and we have a photo to hang there. So, but yeah, I just asked Instagram, which door do you guys want me to open? One, two, or three. So follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram after she pays back up. I post a lot on my stories. I'm trying to be like the Kardashians. They post all the time. So I'm like, I should post all the time too. This is not cute. Okay, anyways. My daughter's playthings down there. Her playthings are in every room. Every room in the house becomes your child's. Oh, and this is cute. We switched out the Balenciaga bags right there. Because like, you know, just not that vibe, not the energy. I just got the flowers and the vase and the Barbie all from Saks Fifth Avenue. That's Barefoot Dreams. It's so soft. And it comes with like Barefoot Dreams socks and everything. Super cute. I got my Love Wins, my anniversary card, my push present, my crystals, my Buddha, and some sprays. I love these Louis Vuitton slippers, but I also love these skims. When I was tanning, I used the skims all the time. Really nice. Shall we? We're on Hell's super cute shopping center. It's almost nine. We're at a Kardashian hot spot. Joey's Woodland Hell's. Cheers. The Israeli TV went good. I told him about it. The interview went good. Mm -hmm. Sushi cone, fries, and crab cakes to start. We're going to try the sushi cone. This lobster ravioli is like the best lobster ravioli I've ever had. And we got some soup on yes. Got my free people dress, my skims tank, and my golden goose shoes. So I could check of the day. Yeah. Alright, so came home and filmed. I am cool mom from Mean Girls. I did Cool Mom Does Your Makeup, so I have all my makeup in here. Oops. Got my microphone. My lights were all set up. Just turned them off. But yeah, that's my ASMR setup. I need to have the wine glasses fill with Hawaiian punch. Oh my god, no, sweetie. Why do you want some? Because if you do it, I'd rather you do it in the house. <laughs> Hawaiian punch is good. So it was kind of fun. It was just like, you know, being your mom if you need like a mom to comfort you. It was kind of fun. And then also to do like this character in the Juicy track seat was really fun. So yeah, it is now six o'clock. So it's time to go get my daughter up from her nap, which is really nice when she naps. I can do ASMR because it's really quiet. And I give her a bath and then the bath bottle bed works every time she sleeps pretty much till four. Um, but yeah, it's been really great. And then I'm going to have my makeup because our makeup removing pads are available now on the website. I didn't think they were coming out until February, but they're out now. Um, so I finally, finally, finally um, can show you guys how they work because I haven't been able to do it for so long and because I was like a secret. So I'm really excited to show you guys how they work and they work so well. Like the product on there is like the best makeup dissolvent ever. And you just take it off with a, like a water washcloth and we're going to get some water wipes to actually pair with it in the future because it's like so easy. So if you're not like even by a sink, you can do it because you just take it off with like the water wipes. 
and that way you don't have to like worry about like splashing water you don't have to like waste water but for now i just remove it with a washcloth but like a dissolvent on it is so amazing it leaves your skin so like soft and hydrated like i'm not gonna lie like you guys know there's a certain makeup wipes that i've used and they really dry out my skin and this one does not do that so good so yeah when i haven't been on camera taking off my makeup this is what i've been using again it's actually so so good and yeah i feel like you can't go back after using these so bath time for my daughter and then mommy takes me to go i had these on my head because i thought they gave me cool mom you know millennial mom vibes so all right so we have our uh makeup removing pads as part of the asmr skin care line you get at asmrskin.com and i just want to show you how glow glowy and moisturized healthy this leaves your skin because i used to use these makeup wipes that dried up my skin so much so i definitely wanted something that was going to hold the glow in my skin and like actually like replenish it after a day of wearing makeup so i'll show you guys the pads are humongous okay and you only need one i used to use like 20 makeup wipes at a time it was like this okay the lighting's a little off because it is nighttime so you're gonna just go ahead and i should do it on the side that's light so you guys can see Do you see how that just takes it off? And you can use it on your eye. It's completely safe for your eye. Mascara, eye makeup, all that. Okay. And then, you got it all over. And you can go ahead and flip it on the side. See all the makeup that came out? I just really... Looks so nice. It does not leave your skin red. This is my second pad, by the way. And you really only need one. But, like, it literally puts so much, like, product back into your skin. So those nights when you are lazy and all you can do is take off your makeup and nothing else. This is like so perfect for it. So this was like my first pad, second pad. And again, you really only need like one pad. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take my washcloth with one water and just take it off. My skin is not irritated, it's not dry, it's just so refreshing. We are going to add water wipes to the site soon, so you can do it on the go, even if you don't have um, like a sink or a faucet handy. Save on the water. And yeah, that is the Glow makeup removing pads, and I think they look so good. I love them so much, and you get them at Yes My Skin. Dot com. They come with a big old jar and a big old pad, and these are perfect, like for all makeup wearers. Are we getting ready for your bath time? Are we getting ready for your bath time? I love this part of the night. I love this part of the night. Abba gets her bath ready, then we go in there and we do a little girls' time and just make it so much fun. You love bath time, don't you? You love bath time. Do you love bath time? She just woke up, which is like kind of weird because you just haven't sleep this late, but she slept a little extra today and that's okay, isn't it? She knows when she needs her rest. Our warm little squishmallow. Are you a little bear? Are you a little bear? <laughs> Keep her nice and cozy. It was hair wash day. And now we're going to go in her closet because I bought her a bunch of Valentine's Day onesies from Target that are six to nine months because she is no longer fitting in three to six months. So should we go find your Valentine's Day? Do you feel fresh and cozy? Do you feel fresh and cozy? She looks like a baby Jedi. The cutest. All right. Let's go find your Valentine's Day onesies. Let's go. It's an artistic shot as if they're like warriors, <laughs> like watching, like, uh, uh, um, 
Huh? No. Oh, you want to be? Now go down. <laughs> Don't hide underneath the cup. Oh. Cup is huge. <laughs> oh, babe, you're funny. You haven't lost your sense of humor since me and Dad. You haven't. We haven't vlogged in a while. We haven't been on the vlogs, but what would you like to say? Anything? It was a good day. <clears throat> it was a great day. We did a lot. How do you think that? I just told. I didn't tell him what we were doing. I said we were doing something mm -hmm. for his reality TV. How do you think it mm -hmm. went? Fun. I mean, they had fun, so it was good. Do you think they loved our house? I don't know. Oh, you love the. Oh, you love <laughs> I'm it. Joking. Do you want to be more in the plants with me? I feel like you're not in the plants. I think we need more plants. I mean, it's fine, babe. We're gonna do a full set at the end of the vlog. <laughs> you know me. You do that. You do the most. Yeah, some practices. These are great. I actually use these all the time for her baby bottles. They were sent to me by my friend Andrew. He became a dad in 2021, and that's a real cactus. Yeah, from they're plants. What are you in the desert? Mm, yes. This Thank isn't. You. I feel better. Get a little you want to go home? You want to do a little. This is ASMR. <laughs> hey, friend. Hey, friend. That's oh. fine. <laughs> oh. You remember how you asked me how do you play Barbies? That's how you play. You like have them talk to each other. Well, I had soldiers. They were like, pew, pew, pew. You have a chance to play Barbies with. Well, you can play soldiers with now, but I guess, but. There's no soldier Barbie. It has it to probably be. is. It has to be Barbie. Anyway. Well, I always liked G.I. Joe because that was like my Barbie's boyfriend, you know? Oh. We don't even use them. <laughs> no, I know. They're always like, it's like an old security company from like 10 years ago. No, I mean, I had it at one point, but yeah, I think they're. Um, but yeah, so tonight we're going to watch Married at First Sight and RuPaul's Drag Race. Um, yeah, that's our plan. We kind of had a late lunch, so. Yeah, I'm still full. I'm Crazy. still full too. It's you like, tell them about why well, I ate so much, huh? Our lunch, where we went, or is it in the we vlog itself? Let me just recap the whole day that I filmed for yeah, you guys. It's been so long <laughs> since. Well, we have to start making Valentine's Day content soon, so I've been getting plates. So we're gonna have to make like a Valentine's Day dinner, so people who are alone on Valentine's Day can have someone to eat with. What do you cook? Okay. Ham, turkey. No, babe, you cooked it last year for me, the Valentine's Day dinner. Oh, well, that was for you, but what's the tradition? That's the tradition, butter noodles. Everybody eats it on Valentine's Day together. I know. It's like Lady and the Tramp when the dogs kiss over the spaghetti noodle they put in their mouth. Oh. And that's the, mm. they eat butter noodles. That's good to know. Um, <laughs> I ordered, oh, and I got these cups. Where did I get these from? Um, no, you World Market. World Market had such cool Valentine's Day stuff, like at Christmas time. So. It's my favorite place. It might be my favorite place too around us. I really like waiting. Yeah, so many cool things. I felt bad going there without you. All right, babe. Sure. Tonight's the Mega Millions. I feel it. I'm gonna win again. We're gonna go to India. They asked me actually on the podcast today. I didn't tell them what the podcast was. But they asked me what I would do if I won the Mega Millions. Let's say that's what I play. Um, and I said I'd go to India and do a Bollywood film and set up shelters for anyone that's in like sex work over there against their will and also like you know find homes for kids that need to be adopted but anyways i want to go to india that was my whole point and they said the producer of their show not their show but another podcast they do and i met that producer had lived in india for like four years trying to make it as a bollywood director he kind of did like little stuff he never did like big films and i was like and i met him on the podcast i did before and he wants to be a bollywood director and i was like that is so weird i was like that feels like synergy. It feels like I'm going to win. So Well, so he knows stuff about... That's what they said. They're like, they, he knows everyone over there. Like, he just never really directed, like, a big budget. He did PA. He was, like, a PA on a big budget, but he directed small stuff. And I was like, you know what? If I win, he can be the director of my Bollywood film. Well, I'm going to talk to him and ask. Yeah. And I feel like... Or at least bring him over for something, you know, if we win the billion dollars, I'm sure we can... Anyways. Yeah, Bollywood to Hollywood. Let me get to find someone like a, that can write good songs for our love story because the Bollywood film is about me and Moses' love story. It's like a cyber, it's like a futuristic love story that happened during quarantine. Yeah, and it's like we... futuristic that happened in the past. All right. <laughs> okay, yeah, you know what I mean. No, but there is, like... there's retro futurism. Oh, really? You know, like how in the 60s and 70s, what they thought the future will be like in the 2000s? Yeah. 
like they thought it would be on jets and thing and so there's the, there is that kind of right. future from the past that never happened but it's very futuristic but the, oh right as you're saying there's also future from the past that did happen you know like back to the future did you ever see the second one a lot of that stuff came true they're like in 20 what was it it was like 2021, I think, is when that takes place. Mm -hmm. It was it's filmed like 1988. It takes place in 2021, or they like predict 2021. Um, and it was like pretty crazy because they have like you know flying skateboards, which is kind of mm -hmm. like we they have like hoverboards. Yeah. So they were pretty close, and then they were like everything was in 3D, like 3D movies. The Jaws was coming out of thing. I'm like, oh my god, we actually have 3D movies. They're just crazy. Well, there is a conspiracy that it's not fiction. Well, it's not fiction. Back to the Future. The time travel. This is what I was asking you about. I asked you, you're like, no, that's not possible. I think, I think it think is possible. Because like, you said you like actually like researched it and like like looked into it for real. But they said there's um, uh, there's specific movies and specific things that um, they think are true. I think there's more chance that we got technology from aliens than we time travel. Uh, I think the opposite. I don't think I think there's more chance that we time travel than getting technology from aliens. Like the alien just came here and dropped something. Like here's a baby monitor. No, maybe they crashed and we found the ship and we're like, oh, let's reverse engineer this. Mm, or something. Very possible. I believe in time travel. But, but either way, there's some truth to those movies. Um, the other one is Stargate. I don't know if you ever watched that. No. I used to watch that. Stargate? Yeah, it was like portals to other places in the world. Stargate. It was like Stargate Atlantis. Was that the name Stargate Atlantis? No, but maybe there was one Portal movie. Into other... But they're like, you just walk through it. And which interesting is that the portal looks like water. Like you walk through water. Really? And suddenly you're in a different place. Oh, I place feel like I've universe. seen that. That's cool. Stargate. My other thing is water. Like we were just talking about how like the baby in the womb, they're like literally in like water. That's like how they live and survive and breathe. We need to watch Avatar, the water being thing. I don't know. Maybe tomorrow will be like a rainy day. Like I feel like I need to watch it like during the day or something. Yeah, I would love that. Like a day. A movie film. day. You never saw the first one? No. You didn't need to, to see the second one. <laughs> do a marathon. Someone did do it. The first one and then the second one. No, no. We gotta pick one and I feel like water is gonna be the one we go for. But um I, there was someone that did an ASMR um avatar. They were like a doctor. I don't know. They're like a doctor avatar. I don't know if that makes sense because I've never seen the movie. But I have like three hundred thousand views in three days. Told you could do the makeup and they did really good makeup. Ari but were they, the makeup. Did they do as a human or as a blue? They were blue. Oh, isn't that what an avatar is? Yeah, but it says something about doctors. So they were a they doctor did. avatar, like the avatar oh. was the doctor. Is that like part of the story? I don't know. I would assume I it's know, part just of in it. the past. In the first one, there was like a doctor and scientist, and then there were the avatar people. Oh, they were a doctor avatar. Interesting, <laughs> but we should watch that. I, I could do some research on ASMR. Wow. Um. But I, at one time, for real, I really did think I saw myself. Like, it could have been like a hallucination because I was. This is okay, but here's what we were talking about. Like, with hallucinogens, I only did it for like a year. I only did hallucinogens like on and off for a year. But one time when I was on them, one, I heard a dog talk, and I swear that was like the truth. And the other thing is, I saw like myself like sneaking in the backyard of my donor Rosa house. I swear I saw it. I swear it was a time traveler, Trish. Like, because it looked like me, but it was very different. She was a little more like. A little more gaunt, sorry, I remember, a little more gaunt, and she had like a satchel on and she had like goggles, but she was definitely me. And it definitely looked like a quintessential time traveler. I know that sounds like crazy, but I swear I was it like, be there's parallel. a girl, huh? It could be like a parallel. What's a parallel? Like if there's more universes right now, you're in all of them in different forms. I swear, and like that's why I'm like, I'm against listening to them, I'm against drugs, but I like, like Colorado's making them legal. I do feel like. It could like take you to like another element because right there's multiple. There's well, multiple. that's the story, Alice in Wonderland. Like you take mushroom and you become this or become that, or you travel to places where animals talk and. It's crazy, you know. and is that reality or is that you're just on a trip, or it's your brain altering it? It's reality. Real. No, it's your brain altering reality, right? It's not actually there. It's your brain. No, it's there. You just you usually can't see it. Dang, that's pretty crazy. If we saw everything that was going on around us, we could not function. Right. We're like horses. We put like blinds on us so we can mm. function as a human being. Which is But great. if you saw everything that's happening right now. 
Well, it's like our, our daughter, like our baby, like she like sees things and stuff like that. Not like in a weird way, like just like light and stuff. I think she can see like light. I think babies are like, since they're so connected to like the original source, right? They just came from heaven or source or universe or whatever you want to call it. I think they're so connected to that. And so like when she looks around, I think she can see like angels or lights or just energies or something like that because it's really cool. It's not like scary or weird. It's like really, she's just like smiles. She looks up and it's like really cool. And I think you lose that like over time, whether that's like the universe is doing because they don't want you to know all the secrets or you just get jaded or like you forget about things. I don't know, but there's a reason we can't remember being babies, but babies are obviously very here and very with us. So I don't know. It's a crazy thing. Sounds like we're on shrooms. <laughs> we were watching a TikTok where someone's like, oh, we both cook shrooms at dinner. I'm like, oh God, isn't that such, it seems like such a long time ago when we would be those people, but I think more in the future. I think for me, like when I retire. <laughs> yeah. What about me? Am I not there with you? Shrooming it up. <laughs> You'll be my, because um, somebody has to like Dosage. hold space, you know, like. Oh yeah, I'll do that Somebody has to be like the sober one to make sure you don't, you know, get lost somewhere or something. Okay. So. You do that for me before when we met and now I'll do that for you in old age. I like that. Sounds good. That's the deal. He saw it first here. <laughs> Anyways, I miss vlogging. We miss you guys. Just took a little break, you know. Just we, we don't didn't do take a, a lot. break. We worked a lot. Right. We just didn't vlog a lot. Right. We're still filming a lot on the other channels. But this channel, I was like, mm, I only want to shade this channel for special days. I don't know. Today felt like a special day because like I knew it was gonna be fun to film the TV show, and I knew it was fun when we were going out to lunch. But um, yeah, most of our days are we work a lot which would be boring to film because you're on your computer. I'm like editing that kind of stuff. But. No, but soon there'll be more interesting things. Yeah, so we're not abandoning this channel. We're just living at home, <laughs> living life. All right, thanks I'm for just watching. Living life. Just living life. We look good. We took a picture today and we're like, that looks like old Trisha and Moses, like when we first met. We took a picture at a restaurant. I'm like, we both look, we both look pretty good for new parents. Yeah. No yeah. sleep parents or like, vibrating well we have the cutest baby so I know and the chillest she's really really easy I hate to say it, it's like my pregnancy when it was so easy I'm like I hate to say we have an easy baby but oh my god I have an easy baby very grateful for that thankful for that so who knows about the second one it's not our fault it just happened it just happened it's just two chill parents we're not like regular parents cool parents alright let's go watch Married at first sight <laughs> Good night.